Okay, so we're gonna cut this big oak down at uh, at Tim's property. So they can get their house built. Got dad on the saw, got out, or got dad strength directed traffic. So, the tree's down, now all we gotta do is uh, cut it up, get it cleaned up, pack it in a dump truck and haul it home. It uh, had quite the colony of ants in it. You can see them crawling all over, we really woke them up. Look up there. So, yeah, they're, they're everywhere. And that's the death of a lot of these big oak trees is these black ants get in them and it just ruins them. So, uh, we're going to get as much busted up with the hoe as we can, and then we'll come back and we'll start cutting the bigger parts up and uh, get rid of this tree. So, as you can see, it was, it was hollow. It wasn't safe to stand here anymore, especially with the new house going right over there. So, it needed to go. So, okay, let's get her cleaned up. And we're going to... We're going to cut this stump off lower because the gas line's right here. The gas line's literally right here. So I don't want to attempt trying to dig this one out. Um, so we're just going to cut it off flush. And Tim agreed that he'd have a, a stump grinder come in, grind it off, and we won't have to worry about underground utilities then. So let's get her cleaned up. Okay, let's start busting her up. Break it up the tighter I can get it in the truck. And a lot of this wood's so junk that uh, it's really not even worth firewood. fragile from the ant invasion you know it's, it's pretty much killed the tree off the health of the tree is severely declined some of this we're going to cut up for firewood if it's good just for uh bonfires and stuff like that that tim wants to have they do a little camping too so they'll have a little a little camp wood My grapples need grease. Oh. Okay, he's got room. get a grapple with a saw in it so I can cut stuff to length. Careful on the blueberry bush. When he 
gets home, he'll take Little Dick and, and dig the brush out of the back of the truck. We need to get us a wood chipper. We looked at a tub grinder one time. We were gonna buy it. Well, then it ended up selling, and it was it was partially burnt, so we were gonna have to fix it. We should have bought that tub grinder. We really should have. But it's one of them deals you don't need it all the time, so it would sit quite a bit. But when you do need it, it'd be uh, excellent to have. stiff link that, that squeaks like that all the time. Okay, I'm going to keep uh, loading this up, breaking it up. We get a little video later on.
now that we've got the trunk cut up, let's move it around, get it out of the way, so we can get the rest of the brush. Still gonna have to cut this one up a little bit. But I don't want to try to get to it. big chunks of wood I'm gonna have to get on the truck. The hard part's getting them out. Probably should take the tailgate out of the truck. It's a shame that tree was junk. But what do you do? Yard trees they typically typically are junk. Um that viewer asked me why I don't change the uh the uh, picture on my camera. Well, the problem is if I change the picture, it focuses too far in the front of the cab of the hoe. There's just not a good in between and the videos seem too zoomed out. It's just not right. Um, so that's why I keep the perspective or whatever you call it on my camera where it's at now. I'm going to look into a different camera. As soon as I get good internet service again, I think I'm going to switch to, instead of doing all my video with my phone, I'm going to start doing it with a different camera and actually edit stuff on a computer. So bear with me. I want to improve stuff. It's just that i got to get better internet service first. And there's just a lot of stuff going on right now but I will eventually get a better quality of picture going for you. Just I gotta make the motions to do that first. So I am working on that. So anyways, just figured I'd touch on that subject real quick. I'm gonna uh, break some more of this up and get another load ready. And now for the fun part, I gotta cut that stump off. We cut it that high because we were worried it might have some metal in it being it's a yard tree but it doesn't look like it's got any metal in it it does have a post on one side that i'm going to have to be careful around but uh for the most part i think i'm going to be able to cut it off pretty low so that they can grind the rest of it out and uh, be that much more wood gone and uh they won't have to grind so much so i'm gonna go grab the saw and uh, get cutting
So we got our stump cut. Let's see what we ended up with. Can't make any promises. It's going to be a clean cut because of that post on the other side. I was trying to stay away from it because I didn't want to ruin a chain. Oh, nice. Sweet. It broke up. So there'll be one more piece that'll dump out of the truck easier. Not too bad. They can grind the rest of that with stump grinder with no problem. It turned out good. There we go. The last of the big tree, for my part of it anyways, is done. So now the stump grinder will grind that and they'll be able to put their driveway there. We'll just have to clean up the wood chips, that's all. So now I'm going to uh, cut some of these larger chunks up so they'll dump out of the truck easier. And then uh, just take the skeleton bucket on the Bobcat and clean up a little bit and that'll be it. So let's get at it. Well, we're down to the last three pieces of the trunk of the tree and just uh, raking up the leaves and some chunks of bark and stuff. So I think I'm going to end this episode right here because we got plenty of video. So uh, if you enjoyed this episode of Dirt Grain Steel, please give me a like. I'd greatly appreciate that and share this video maybe so others can enjoy it. So uh, I'm going to uh, get this video edited so I can get it up for uh, your viewing pleasure this evening. So, uh, and then after that, I'm going to hop in Bobcat and do some raking, some clean up, and uh, I think we'll be uh, completely done with this project. So uh, Tim and Maria are very happy because now this paved the way for their new house. They don't have to worry about uh, any trees falling on the new house or anything like that. And they got plenty of uh, sun to grow a beautiful yard now. It's not all shaded out. So, and uh, got rid of some walnut trees so there's not all the walnuts laying around the yard and stuff like that. So anyways, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next one.